Go ahead. Release it. Let's light this candle, huh? I mean, sure, I'll lose everything, but then I'll have nothing to lose. First, I'll take out the nerve centers. The White House, the Pentagon. Then, any domestic defense capabilities, and then critical infrastructure, like cellular, internet. That Holy hell, I never expected to talk about Mr. Beast in a negative light. The man who cured the blind, healed the deaf, gave water and homes to a certain shade of people. This man is quite literally modern day Jesus H. Christ. I feel like I'm a little bit late to all this drama, and pretty much everything that is known about Mr. Beast is already out in the open and common knowledge, but you know me, I just love making fun of people online to hide my own insecurities. Everything I'm about to talk about is pretty much covered in these two videos by Dogpack404, so go give them a watch through, because I'm pretty much going to speed run through most of the shit that's already out there. Starting with one of the most innocent sounding claims, but in all actuality is pretty bad, it's faking his videos. Now, most people when they heard this were like, well, duh, he's faking videos, how else would he get all this stuff done? All those like challenge videos where people are finishing obstacle courses at the last second, like, yeah, obviously those are fake, but the one thing that I didn't expect was the videos like 50 boys versus 50 girls, all ages against each other, stuff like that. Like, those don't seem like the type of videos that you rig because there's so many people around that, you know, would obviously tell if it's fake, right? Well, clearly not, because those random participants are actually close friends or workers for Mr. Beast, which, you know, uh, it's kind of fucked up. Because throughout the, in the videos and comments, Mr. Beast is saying like, oh, subscribe and you might appear, but no, you're just giving him a subscription when he has no, like, intention at sending you out to wherever they're filming to be a part of his video. So he's just farming subscribers from these little kids that think, ooh, I'm going to get on Mr. Beast video and become rich, because, like, that's not, gonna, that's not how it happens, dude. The contestants are not random subscribers. So many people had jobs. Oh, that contestant had to get out for her job? I guess you forgot she's your hiring manager. I actually recognize a lot of people in this video, including Jimmy's own girlfriend. So yeah, the random subscribers you see in challenges are actually never random. They're almost always local to Mr. Beast, and oftentimes friends and family of Mr. Beast employees, or just the employees themselves. Apparently, he doesn't even hand out, like, cash rewards or whatever to the people that win his challenges anyway. There was a girl a while ago who said that she came in second place in a hide-and-seek video, I think it was, and that she never received the money that she got, she deserved for getting second place, and everyone was like, oh, you're just butthurt because you didn't get first place, and blah, blah, blah. When all actuality, that, first of all, that result was probably rigged. They probably made her get second place. And secondly, like, I, I guess that's true now because a lot more people are coming out saying like hey we didn't get our cash prize or whatever which also leads us to our next thing of uh the illegal lotteries now i didn't expect this to come out from mr beast but you know those like live streams that he does when he's like si signing shirts and he's like hey if you were with the next five minutes then you know you're gonna get 100 bucks with your order well uh yeah that's quite literally pretty much gambling but for kids because you're giving kids like this incentive like hey within the f next five minutes you might be able to win a uh, hundred dollars or a thousand dollars with your shirt and then suddenly a few minutes later he'll be like oh nope sorry within the next 10 minutes so you're going from like a handful of people ordering shirts to probably like over hundreds of people and every time like he says like within the next blah 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 minutes i'm going to give you money like sales instantly go up because there's kids running to their parents like mom 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 we need to get a mr b shirt we're gonna become rich and he doesn't like actually hand it out which is Honestly, it's evil, but like it's kind of smart because like what are these kids gonna do? Go online and be like, Mr. Beast didn't give me his stuff. Like no one's gonna believe you, dude. And with those shirts things, apparently like some of the signatures aren't even Mr. Beast because people recently found a video where a dude I think it the his name is Tyler on Mr. Beast's team actually forges Mr. Beast's signature on a shirt and then tries to hide it, which is you know kind of fucking sucks because imagine you're a kid and you want a Mr. Beast signed shirt and then you just get a signature from some random dude that's trying to mimic Mr. Beast. It, 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 you gotta wonder, like, how many shirts out there are actually signed by Mr. Beast? Because during those live streams, I don't think... I haven't really watched any of them, but I don't think I've really seen him, like, sitting down signing shirts. I feel like most of the time he's, like, up walking around and is like, Alright, we're gonna do this offer, and then you better order now, and then blah, 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 blah. And this is pretty fucking sinister, dude. I mean, like, these are kids that you're scamming. It, 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 you have to have, like, no empathy in your heart <laughs> to do this. Like, I don't know if he realizes how, like, malicious this is. But, like, the dude, like, hide, hid the signature after he signed it, so clearly, like, they have some, like, realization of what they're doing, which, you know, fucking, 
I I don't know what to say, man. Like, don't do that. Don't fucking scam kids. That's the best advice I could give you right now. <laughs> but he just like can't stop scamming kids, dude. I mean, even with like his chocolate bars, the Feastables, he's constantly like promoting stuff, saying like, "Oh, buy a Mr. Beast bar and you'll get like ten thousand dollars." When he has no intention of doing such things. I'm pretty sure there's so many shorts on his channel that say like Feastable bars win car make your dream come true win a thousand dollars and all this amazing stuff when all actuality he's just tricking you into buying his uh chocolate bars which honestly the chocolate bars i mean i went wild for them when they first came out and i was like i i, I went fucking wild when i first found out about mr beast bars and i i love them apparently they're supposed to be healthier than the normal options when uh yeah nope they're not apparently there's more calories in a fucking mr beast bar than two fucking cans of coke which is honestly insane and it's has more sugar than most Hershey bars, I think. Mr. Beast constantly talks about how, like, he thinks that, you know, obesity sucks and it causes so many health issues, but then goes on to sell fucking chocolate. Like, dude, do you not have, like, a brain in your head? You say, like, obesity causes all these childhood issues and then you're rallying kids to go buy your own chocolate. Like, o obesity is just a death sentence, dude. It ruins your life. It kills you quickly. There's no perks to being fat. I honestly find working out to be way more enjoyable than any kind of feeling you get from committing gluttony. But it's also kind of wild, because like with these chocolate bars, apparently a while ago, Mr. Beast, I think it was on Twitter, he posted something saying like, hey, if you see uh, chocolate bars, my chocolate bars in Walmart, and the, you know, the display is all messy, why don't you fix it up? Like, you're rallying kids to do like your fucking bidding, dude. Like, let the fucking Walmart workers do what they do to earn money, and just leave it at that, and like, kids be kids. Because like, you're bringing kids to fucking chocolate aisles who would have never done that like he literally says like i'm bringing people who have never eaten chocolate bars to the chocolate aisle and like is that is that a reward like you're bringing not fat people to an aisle to get fatter and hershey's buying feastables like you people who never would have bought chocolate in walmart are walking mm. to the chocolate aisle specifically to buy feastables you're creating so, a new market exactly yeah. i'm bringing new customers yeah. to the aisle like you're talking about like how fucking obesity is such a problem it's an epidemic and then you're just like here you go buy chocolate instead of you know something that could be better in the long run i don't know what you would sell off the top of my head that would be the opposite of chocolate but like you know maybe just don't do chocolate also on top of that like you have fucking mr beast burger so you know clearly you don't have an issue with uh fatness you're saying shit to make people think that you're such a good dude and then you're actually doing stuff just to make more money it's kind of despicable and Mr. Beast recently was collabing with, I think the dude's name is Food Critic, and he had him try the Mr. Beast bars to rank them. And the dude was, like, trying to, like, voice his opinion, like, say, like, he doesn't really like this kind of bar. And Mr. Beast was talking over him, and they were eating, like, I think it was the Crunch bar. And then uh, Mr. Beast, like, took it from him. He's like, oh, it's gotta be defective. He takes a bite, he's like, mmm, this is so good! Like, he's trying to, like, talk over this dude and, like, make his op opinion seem more valid than the other dude. So, it's, you know, what the fuck? I got all the feastable chocolates. Let's try them and rank them one to six. I'm gonna be completely honest. Totally not biased because if it sells more, I make more money. I'm gonna be honest. And I hope Jimmy is sitting next to me and not getting his feelings hurt. <laughs> Let's do it. The crunch bar. Okay. This is the one you believe in? Yes. It's not crazy, Jimmy. No? Uh, you don't like crunch bars? I do like crunch bars, but... Again, it's too sweet. Let me try this. Maybe these are defective. Oh I my like God, it. this tastes good to me. Wait, we supposed to be ranking them. I rated it the first one. So we going completely off of oh, well, We're going completely off of We're in too deep. I rate this a 10 out of 10. I give this an 11 out of 10. 7.2 out of 10. This is amazing. This is better than the milk chocolate, for sure. I'm totally not biased. You <laughs> fucking... You know, I never really realized how narcissistic or egotistical Mr. Beast has to be, because, like, he's always surrounded by yes-men who always just go along with the flow, but, like, here is Food Critic, who's just, like, trying to give his honest opinion, and Mr. Beast is just trying to, you know, overtake that and make it all good. It's, like, everything's good, everything's perfect, like, don't listen to the Food Critic, listen to me. Now, going away from all the food stuff and going back to, like, Mr. Beast's videos and apparently, like, sh game show he owns with uh, Amazon, which, you know, perfect combination, soulless uh, media company mixes with, apparently, a soulless YouTube creator. Uh, this new game show, like, it it's, like, pretty fucking wild. Apparently, there's people that, are, like, aren't getting fed. There's people that are getting denied, like, medication for hours on end, which, you know, is probably going to lead to, you know, death. 
apparently someone was like hospitalized and Mr. Beast was more worried about getting sued than, uh, you know, get worry, worry about the dude's health, which I mean, if it was like a, some like other business, like Jeff Bezos, like, yeah, he would probably be more concerned about getting sued than the dude's health. But, you know, this is Mr. Beast, you know, he's supposed to be the dude that cured the blind. He you know, restored people's hearings. He did something to amputees. I don't know what he did, but he did something for them. And then here he is like, Oh, are we going to get sued? We're not going to get sued. Okay, good. Ooh. Like that was his first, that's your first thought, dude. And you're trying to like put on those like this philanthropist act that like you care about everything. And you're like, are we going to get sued? Cause, just because someone fucking passed out because he didn't provide them their fucking medication, dude. Like what the fuck? And apparently, uh, I just learned this from watching an Optimus video. This is interesting. Uh, technically, Mr. Beast apparently committed a war crime, <laughs> which, you know, is fucking funny as hell. Because there was this dude who was doing a video, like a challenge video. He had to stay somewhere for, it was like a month. And uh, Mr. Beast locked him in a room where there's just a light. And they weren't turning off like the lights or anything, which apparently goes against the Geneva Convention. Like, you can't have someone in a room where they can't escape from the light. Cause like that will cause you to like go fucking bonkers. You'll start like seeing shit. Like you can very easily hallucinate cause you're going to be sleep deprived from the light. And then just like being trapped in a room like that will literally like make your mind go crazy. But, uh, with all that said, let's move on to the pedophile in the room. No, not that one. It's fucking crazy. They have to say which pedophile I'm talking about, dude. That's already a bad sign. But, uh, it's this one, this dude named Delaware. Which, uh, at first people were saying that his name is Delaware because he can't return to the state of Delaware. But, uh, Jake the Viking, a previous employee of Mr. Beast, claims that that's just, like, completely incorrect. Which, uh, I'll be getting back to Jake in a minute. But, uh, people realized that this dude in one of the old Mr. Beast videos, he was wearing a mask. And, you know, kind of weird, you know. Could be just, like, a fashion thing. But people soon found out that, uh, yeah, he's a, a sex offender. He, he is... On the registry, he uh, did something to a child, and uh, people found his identity. I don't want to show it, because one, I don't care enough to like look for it. If you look at other YouTube videos, you'll definitely find the dude. But secondly, like, I, I, I just don't like want to show what he looks like or anything. I'm recording this at like the middle of the night, dude. It's I, I, I don't want to think. But uh, apparently, like the the age range of the victim that he uh you know sexually assaulted was one to eleven let that sit in this dude was touching a one to eleven year old and then worked for mr beast whose primary demographic is children so uh yeah that's a fun combination right there huh you're really just giving this pedophile all the children he wants Now it was recently. It recently came out that uh, this guy Delaware is actually the brother-in-law of a previous employee, Mr. Beast employee, uh, Jake the Viking. Who, you know, in his when he was in Mr. Beast, I, I thought he was a chill dude. Like he looked like he was a beast, bro. He was like someone that I aspired to be. But it turns out he was a beast in another way. In the fact that like he does anything to make himself look better. Throughout like the whole like Ava, Chris Tyson, whatever the fuck it is. During that whole situation, during, like, Mr. Beast's downfall, he's been, like, on Twitter, like, saying, like, yo, I knew this was happening, I was, I was, do this. I was doing this, and then he's, like, trying to, like, paint himself in the better light while, like, bashing Mr. Beast, because, you know, that's what everyone's doing now. But as soon as, like, this shit came out about, like, people finding out this dude, Delaware, he came out and was like, look, listen, this this guy's my uh, brother-in-law, he's been a great guy, uh, you know, I can't wait for these charges to be dropped, he's been such a good father to my uh nieces and nephews and my sister and like it's kind of crazy dude like you're like bashing uh like chris tyson over like these accusations like even though like chris tyson's like a complete like fucking weirdo and shouldn't be allowed near children like they are accusations like there's no definitive proof meanwhile you're defending this dude who's on the registry for uh an, a victim whose age range is one to eleven this dude could have been touching an actual baby. I don't know if, like, they found out if, like, the victim's actual age, but, like, potentially touching a baby, dude. Like, you can't defend that. The hypocrisy is crazy, like... And, like, I'm all for giving people second chances, you know? Like, people grow, but, like, this dude was 16 touching a 1 to 11-year-old. You know, I, I at the age of 16, like, you should have the morality to know, like, you don't do that. And, uh... 
Yeah, and like Jake is just getting like completely fucking destroyed on Twitter. It's honestly funny. I I don't use Twitter, but I've seen like YouTube videos of like people responding to Jake, and like it's <laughs> he's responding to specific comments that he knows he can answer. But as soon as someone like brings up like a point that he can't like answer, he just goes radio silent and he just moves on to the next fucking comment. So you know he he's like going down with this shit, dude. Like he he left Mr. Beast a while ago, but he is being brought. In. Everyone that's been tied to Mr. Beast has been going down, dude. Like, fucking Sneeko turned out to be a pedophile. I mean, I don't want to say turned out to be a pedophile. It's pretty obvious that he was a pedophile. But, like, everyone that's been connected to Mr. Beast is just so fucked right now. And it's honestly funny to watch this. <laughs> I, I wonder... I, Mr. Beast has got to respond soon, so I wonder what that's going to look like. But, you know, until he actually get, gets out a response, uh, I guess this is it for now. So, peace. All right. Heads up. Uh, I just want to say... Sorry if this video seems at all, like, rushed or poorly edited. I honestly didn't even want to make a video for this month, because August is my birth is my birth month. I have a few other birthdays for people that are close to me. That's right. Happy late birthday, President Obama. But, uh, yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't want to, like, work on a video, because, like, videos, like, making a video just stresses me out, because, like, I have, like, a certain expectation of myself. I need to make sure everything's correct. I've, like, gone through, like, five different scripts for what I wanted to talk about this month, Thank God Mr. Beast was canceled for me so I could talk about that. But uh, yeah, sorry if like, this video doesn't seem as well made as other videos I've made. So uh, yeah.